Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make these cute little zipper pouches. What's kind of nice about these is there's a little pleat on the side and then this is what it looks like on the back. So you can put this little key ring holder on them. Now on this one, I added an extra little charm so you can find key rings with charms on them to add it to your pouch. And you can make this right here any length that you want. All of the cutting instructions and supplies needed are listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. Just scroll down to, to where it says show more or click on the down arrow and that section will expand open and you'll see all kinds of links. Okay, let's get started. You're going to cut both your pieces five and a half by ten and a half. All of your fabric pieces can be different colors if you like, or it can be all made out of the same fabric. On the fabric for the outside, you want to fuse your interfacing on. And I cut my interfacing a half inch smaller on here so that it wouldn't make the seam so bulky. So the fusible interfacing is five by 10 inches. Just follow package instructions for fusing it on. This is my lining and this is the fabric for the outside. This is the front side, the pretty side of both of them. So you want to bring them front sides together and line up your edges on all four sides. Take your zipper and have the zipper teeth facing up and you're placing it in between your two fabrics at one end. So here's the zipper pull. Here's that little metal piece that's at the bottom of the zipper and you want it away from where you're going to be stitching. So you're going to have this excess zipper tape sticking out at each end. You line it up, all three things lined up here at this edge. Now you can either place pins to hold this together or you can use those little sewing clips. Now make sure to put on your zipper presser foot. If you don't know what a zipper presser foot looks like, look in your user's manual and there will be a picture of your zipper foot. When you're using your zipper foot, you want to move your needle either to the left or to the right so that your needle won't break when it first goes down. I place, because I have a narrow zipper foot, I just place my narrow zipper foot edge or right on the edge right here. And then I have my needle over towards the zipper teeth stitching right along there. So I'm about a quarter of an inch away from this edge is where my stitching is. Open up your two fabrics and then bring them together. So now you're looking at the pretty side of your fabric for the outside. And up here near the zipper, just finger press it so that it lays flat and then turn it over and do the same. Finger press it so that it lays flat. Then leaving your zipper foot on, you want to stitch close to the edge of this fabric where it's folded right here, all the way down. Take the fabric that's for the outside and bring it up to this edge of the zipper up here. Make sure your fabric is lined up along here, that it's not crooked. Now take the other fabric, bring it out, and place it on the edge of the zipper. So now you're stitching the fabric onto the other side of the zipper teeth. Make sure everything is lined up on both sides and on the edge up here. And again, either pin or clip this and then again stitch right along here. Now that you've got that stitching done, now you want to reach inside and open up your zipper. Then turn it to where you have the pretty side of the fabric facing out. Now this is the side that we just stitched. This was the last edge. You want to finger press the fabric on both sides again. Once you've done that, 
then you're going to start at this end. You want to get the fabric out of the way and at your sewing machine you're going to stitch close to the edge all the way down. Now close the zipper. Now reach in between your two fabrics and turn it back side out. Now you have your lining fabric and your fabric for the outside on opposite sides of each other. Now you're going to lay your zipper with the zipper teeth facing up like that. And you're going to center the zipper teeth on the bag. And I'm going to use a little ruler. It's the zipper teeth are going to be about two and a half inches out to the edge. So from the zipper teeth, about two and a half inches this way, and then the same amount on the other side. Now flip it over and do the same thing with your lining fabric. Center it over the zipper teeth. So make sure that the folded edge of both pieces are together. Where the zipper pull is, that's right here, is going to be the top of the little pouch. So down here, where you see this metal piece, that's going to be the bottom of the pouch. So now we're going to mark the fabric, and you're going to put your quarter inch line across here on the bottom edge, and you're going to put the half inch line right on the folded edge, and then just draw around it. Whoops, and there you go, and it looks like that. Then go over to the other corner and do the same thing, three quarters of an inch and half inch, and draw. Then flip it over and do it to this fabric also. Now take scissors and you're going to cut these out, and this is going to help you to make your box corners. Now place pins along here and stitch a one quarter inch wide seam. Unzip your zipper about two thirds of the way down. Now you're going to trim the excess zipper tape off at each end. Now either use a real old rotary cutter blade or a pair of scissors that, uh, that are not your good scissors because cutting this off can ruin your scissors. So I'm just going to cut it off like this. Whoops, it help if I open the blade. Cut it off and then go to the other side and do the same thing. Now we're going to create the box corner. So you're going to open it and flatten it like this. Bringing this seam towards the folded edge that was there. So here's the seam and here's what it looks on the other side. Now take your lining and do the same thing and you're going to fold it so that it's on the seam side. So fold it and make it look just like this. So now you want to pin it together. So this is what it looks like on the lining side and then this is what it looks like on the other side, the fabric for the outside. Then you want to stitch a quarter inch wide seam going across here. Then repeat this on the other corner. So this is what it looks like when you're done stitching. This is the lining and then this is the other side. Now reach inside and turn it front side out. Now push against your boxed corners at the bottom. So now you want to fold it here on the sides and then you're going to put a little pleat on each side and you're going to fold it in oh about a half inch so fold that side in and pleat it like that and then put a pin to hold and then do the same thing over here. Push that side in about a half an inch and put a pin to hold. Now place pins across the top and then this is what it looks like from this side 
and this side. Then you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam along here. Now we're going to create the key ring holder. So take a one and a half piece of fabric by four inches long. You're going to fold the edges in about a quarter of an inch and press. Then fold in half and press. Then stitch along this edge right along here. Place your key ring on and fold it in half. Turn it over to the back, place it in the center, and stitch right along here. Take your strip that's five and a half inches by one and a half. Take one edge and fold it over a quarter of an inch and press. Place it on the back side up at the top edge, pin it, and stitch one quarter of an inch. You want to trim this, these ends off to where they're about a half an inch long. Fold the bottom edge inside, fold the top edge over, and then pin it across, and you fold this edge the same way. Then stitch across that lower folded edge all the way to the other side and back stitch at each end. Now here's the back. You'll notice that I made the key ring holder shorter on this end. You can do that. On this one, I made it longer. And one other step I didn't mention was to keep the key ring in place, you could do a straight stitch going right across there like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you try making this little zipper pouch. I think it's really cute. And you know, Christmas isn't all that far away again. So this is a good time to start making little projects this, like this, that you can give them as gifts to your friends, people you work with, your kids, your grandkids, everybody you can think of. And remember, go through your scrap pile. You've probably got lots of great fabrics in there that you can use to make this bag. Now, don't forget that below your YouTube screen, I have all kinds of links, especially to the items behind me on the wall. I have many, many, many tutorials. So make sure you go down there and look at all of those links. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, and happy sewing! If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.